Hi. I'm Robo Susie and today I'll talk to you about type 2 diabetes, magnesium, heartbeats and diabetes. Also don't forget to check out the link below, to find out, how this guy reversed his diabetes. Turns out, the diabetes industry is selling us fake research. But back to our topic. Research reveals people with a high magnesium intake are less likely to develop type 2 diabetes, and diabetics actually tend to have low magnesium stores. One of the reasons many people are magnesium deficient is because they do not eat enough, vegetables, nuts, seeds, and whole grains. They are all rich sources of magnesium. Heart and blood vessel disease is one of the most serious complications of type 2 diabetes. Studies have shown low blood magnesium can be associated with irregular heartbeats. In a study reported on in March 2012, in the medical journal Cardiovascular Diabetology, researchers looked at low blood magnesium levels and heart rhythms in obese adults. 750 participants were included in this particular study. People with low magnesium levels had more than twice the number of irregular beats as those with normal magnesium levels. All those with low magnesium levels and irregular heartbeats also had a diagnosis of type 2 diabetes. Among the volunteers with low magnesium levels, those with the lowest magnesium levels also had the highest number of irregular beats. The above results led to the conclusion that having low magnesium levels could contribute to irregular heartbeats in people diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. One reason irregular heartbeats are dangerous is the heart needs time between beats to fill up with blood. If it beats before it has had time to fill fully, it pumps out only a small amount of blood to the rest of the body, which does not provide the body with enough oxygen and nourishment. Another reason is that an irregular beat can sometimes set off many more irregular beats, and when the heart beats too fast it does not beat with sufficient force to push the blood along through the arteries. According to the National Institute of Health in the United States, Women 19 to 30 should receive 400 mg of magnesium each day, and that amount should increase by 20 mg after she is over 30. Men 19 to 30 should take in 300 mg per day, and that number should increase to 310 mg each day after age 30. Good sources of magnesium are green vegetables, whole grains, and hard water. Green vegetables are ideal because the enzyme that gives them their color, chlorophyll, contains magnesium. A cup of oatmeal for breakfast provides 49.6 mg of magnesium with 136 calories. Add half a banana for 16 mg of magnesium for about 20% of your recommended daily allowance RDA, of magnesium in 186 calories. If you make a lunch salad of a cup of kale, 22.8 mg of magnesium, a cup of spinach, 23.7 mg of magnesium, 2 stalks of celery, 8.8 mg of magnesium, a half cup of avocado cubes, 22 mg of magnesium, and an ounce of sunflower seeds, 36.1 mg of magnesium, you will get about 30% of your recommended daily allowance of magnesium, with 305.5 calories. An ounce of almonds with their skins provides 76.7 mg of magnesium, or about 20% of your RDA for magnesium with 170 calories. Have a half cup of soybeans, 74 mg of magnesium, with dinner and you have enough magnesium for the day, along with other vitamins, mineral and protein. That's it. Thank you. Please subscribe, comment and like this video if it was helpful. See you soon.